hey, what's good? It's Young Honey. I'm at my parents' house for a few weeks, so we're going to be doing a couple of Let's Plays because I still want to get some content out there. I hope you enjoy. Let's get right into this bad boy. First, as always, here's some mental health resources. I love y'all. Let's get into it. All right, so Far Cry decided to fully quit out on me after uh, that last little bit of bullshit happened. So I'm apparently running over to this. I don't have a weapon. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I think my fucking corpse is somewhere. God damn. It's not it's Gentlemen. I'm gonna be honest with you. I hate to we are not in a great situation. It is improving. Now, I was really hoping that I'd get all my shit back from two runs ago. Apparently that's not in the cards for us. Not moving from this spot until my statue is restored. This is not going well, y'all. my culture to make this. Ugh. It's not even good to look at. I touch you. No. Oh man. I'm the huge fuck. Make an investment in health. God damn it. I don't know if we're gonna make it. This isn't work. I need to get closer. I genuinely don't know. Apparently this is nighttime now too. We got this! Oh my god. Hmm? 
Okay. Frankly, I don't know how we survived. But we did. And we came out with a life. <laughs> um. I'm not gonna lie, that's. It's a little bit remarkable to me. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna happen. For real, like, we should not have gotten out of there alive. But we did. Okay, so. Important conversation time. I'm gonna start this conversation a little bit. There is no question that Pagan is Whatever that an authoritarian is, figure. What's inside. He is free, a violent, brutal dictator who took over the country through very aggressive means and he preserved that power to an almost disgusting extent. Like, like he did despicable things to religions, to people, and even international entities. Um, so, how unpleasant. That's kind of important to keep in mind. The guy is no doubt an authoritarian figure, but what does that actually mean? Because we hear that word get thrown around a lot whenever there's any form of government action. And there's the argument that all form of government action is wrong. I personally am not for that argument. Alright, I believe that there's a very fine line. Pagan being an authoritarian is where a line is crossed in my opinion. Authoritarianism primarily relies on power, on force, on intimidation, on threats. And that's not a conducive way to run a state. You end up with very religious or very violent counter cult or counter movements. And frequently these movements can be religious, which is what Pagan ended up running into. How my and adore so it's, it, it's important to keep in mind that all of his threats were through, were, were just that, they were threats, and they were also carried out through the military, they were carried out through his personal action, they were carried out through general aggression towards the population. What authoritarian is not is a group of governing individuals saying <clears throat> we are now a dry country but not enforcing that law um authoritarian like, like like you can still go out buy a drink they realize no one's following that and it kind of gets it, it kind of gets lost just because it's it's a stupid fucking rule you know that's not authoritarianism that's a country where people have a credible threat to leave and they are in a place where they feel empowered to stand out against the government and go get more drinks. Authoritarianism is if you were to go get a drink, if you were to go look for a bar, the military fucking jumps you. Or you are fine. Or photos of ta are taken of you on the way to the bar. You're, you're, people are checking your texts. Like, the government is making sure that, like, you know, you're not drinking. That law being fully enforced, that is authoritarianism. And that's what Pagan was doing, to an extent. Let me reset this recording. Reset.
Pagan was taking a religion that he viewed as toxic, which, on a fundamental level, yeah, yeah, we can talk about that, that it, it's problematic. But the way in which he addressed the religion itself was vile. You don't crush a religion through violence, you do it through education. You do it through showing people that an outdated ideology won't carry into a new, prosperous society. People who tend to turn to religion for more hope, more faith, you know. And so you need to provide them with options that give them that, you know? And the reason why Pagan is just, just so far from a good guy is his use of force, is his use of intimidation. And so while I love him as a villain, he, he's incredible. I feel like it's really important to keep in mind he is, he's dangerous. He's representative of a truly, truly vile mentality that has harmed people. It's harmed this world to no end. So, I don't know. Just some food for thought. Well, we'll, we'll talk more about authoritarianism and what it's incredible in history, like, kind of, like, kind of come out. But I figure it's important to kind of bring up what it is, what it isn't. Because if we're just tossing the term around, it means nothing. You feel me? I want to. I want to give it like some clear boundaries. Like we're talking, we're talking true military forces being used to impose an agenda. You know. Okay. Remember what. Do want to improve move speed. Want to improve defense of all variety. Maybe. Shoot some goddamn guns. <laughs> you should but listen yeah, to your own. That's why. That's what made Pagan such an intimidating villain to me. Because he was that authoritarian leader. And you can see why he is that way, kind of through his own insecurities throughout this. Which I do find interesting. I do find interesting because most authoritarian leaders tend to be wildly insecure. They're, they're, they're paranoid, they want to maintain that power, they're scared of loss of power, you know? And that's ultimately what drove Pagan down the path, like his path to begin with. It was that desire to be the most powerful individual. And that's such a dangerous irresponsible line of thinking because the collective is always greater than the whole. I need to know what's in there, obviously. Especially in government. For me? It's just the you way it is. shouldn't have. And... I didn't. I just wish this dude understood that. He probably wouldn't be in this head state. This shit bugging again. Come on. I don't want to be rambling about the terrors of authoritarianism. But yeah, like, this shit, this should be important because it's also pretty integral to understanding who Pagan is. This is a man that really, truly will not cede his power. He will fight so fucking hard to preserve it, and that's dangerous. We see people like this in real life, and we see them obtaining power. Not really too much to do about it, unless you have a credible military threat. And that's scary because this personality type is volatile, explosive, and it hurts everyone around them. 
you see that reflected in Pagan's life so well. It's a great storytelling tool here. And it's kind of important to recognize when a leader themselves has become, I guess, over the top, not, not outgrown themselves. I'm sure I'll find something but useful to do with They this. believe that, that their authority supersedes the right of other individuals. It's important to recognize that. It's important to talk about it. So, I just wanted to share some of that knowledge there. I want what's inside. For me, shouldn't have. Why is everyone getting poisoned? I lose a life and I I, I lose my serenity. I think I'm gonna take this power up. God damn it, I really wish I had my extra life right now. Hopefully we get another one here, that would be great and all. But damn. Let's tear shit up. That shit makes me angry. I will not let this vandalism go unpunished, RJ. from this spot until my statue is restored. God damn. I think I'm doing an okay job, like, hiding from that room. I'm gonna do that. Reset it in. I'm 
I'm pretty glad I just picked up that heart. I'm off that extra game stick. We gotta do some really risky things here. Yo, I'm telling you, I'm not gonna die. We resilient right now. Like, I'm full angry. But also, it's weird. It's weird because of the mental health treatment stuff, like, I'm ridiculously angered, but I'm also fairly calm about it. Like, I can get amped up about it, I'm fairly angry, but also... <laughs> it's a video game, man. RJ, RJ, RJ. I wouldn't have to kill you if you just listened to me. Yes. What is this? Grenade launcher? All right, let fuck it. <laughs> we ride him. Oh, you're a flamethrower, Yuma. That makes it even funnier that you got blown the fuck up. Get Shrek to one, two, and three. Whatever that is. I want what's inside. Surplus supplies. That poison perk is low key going fucking work. Like, what the fuck, bro? Nitrous liquor, leaning perks, take the pain, whatever works. They just got fucked up. There are no two ways about that. Where to is safe house, word. Be able to re-up on everything. I anticipate losing a life at this rifle challenge. Soon. Soon we'll be good looking enough to get into the air. The most happening club. I can make this work. <coughs> oh. 
Finally. A chance to relax. I... Oh, I'm sorry, love. Did you want inside? Oh! That's how you get a safe house, y'all. Tell you what. Do what it. I have a feeling I'll be happy about that. Back to us. If bigger and better guns is what it takes, do it. Because then I'll just, um, <clears throat> what I think I'll do is I'll get rid of uh, the boomstick one for that next life if the Lord will afford it to me. Not even religious. Alright, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not a whole lot of places to die. But still. I'm not feeling very cash money excellent about my life situation right now. We 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 died twice on this run already. Went the rest of the fucking series without dying a single time and now we're doing it twice in a single run through? Come on. They didn't scale this up that much. Spilling colors, right? Now I'm playing it. Gray matter, take this acid on the platter. Climbing higher like a ladder. Yeah, you peeking and now you hatter. You're gonna speak some psycho chatter. I need to know what's in Obviously. But me? <laughs> you shouldn't have. I didn't. <laughs> Bro, this poison bird. <laughs> I'm liking this perk. I ain't even on a 30. I ain't even on a single perk. Just the one for game, game. I ain't got the best drug of them all. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna reset the recording. Fun. Reset. Um. I'm gonna smoke a bowl. And maybe we get back to talking about this the solitary It's beautiful and lively as I do. I usually like doing that when I smoke. Is this the same hope? What's happened to it? Secrets, Sishwari. Is there anything you can do, Mom? 
anything you need? Yes. Yeah, it's probably just like a yes. phone. Take me back. Okay, y'all can read that. What, you don't know how to read? Go to your local community college. Okay. I've got to catch my breath. Looks even worse on the inside. What are you talking about? Would you listen to yourself, Mohan? Do you take What was that? Okay. It came from outside. So, now that it's clear, why we believe pagans to be an authoritarian. We'll talk about some times in history we've seen that. First one that comes to mind, I would say, probably be Hitler. Um, he used military might to attempt to conquer Europe, right? Imposed a lot of regulations while, like, like pri prior to the Holocaust, prior to World War II, he made streets essentially unlivable for so many demographics, not just Jewish people. Like, this is coming from a Jewish guy, like, like trust, like, like m way more people were impacted. And it's really important to know that. But, above all else, there, there was that tendency, there was that desire to consistently expand. He, he, was, he essentially could have stopped his entire military campaign after invading Poland while he was committing crimes against humanity, right? I'm actually going to get rid of the boomstick perk for that extra health. While he was committing crimes against humanity, we see the same with Benito Mussolini at the same time. We see that with the Axis powers. And to an extent, we see it with the United States, you, we see it with Churchill, we see it with different have... leaders kind of taking like the reins of a country Ishwari? by force that doesn't sound and like you. just kind of imposing their sorry, will. And during you wartime, that's all you really need. Um, but you we could. especially saw the negative externalities and the impacts that that can have on humanity around us with the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. There, there was an executive order to do that. There was, to my knowledge, to my knowledge, scientists were consulted. Military leaders were consulted. It was a discussed and planned move, right? But it's, it's a move that I would argue that not just most of the population of the United States would have been against, especially Nagasaki. I didn't. But it's a yeah. move I would argue that most humanitarians would be against. Just because you're talking about killing hundreds of thousands of innocent people with, at the blink of an eye. Um, and so we see, we saw, we saw that a lot during World War II. We saw that across every single power. We saw that across really everywhere. We then saw that later on in the United States with Vietnam. Where the United States continuously sent troops over, we continuously imposed drafts, and we essentially defeated our population for no good fucking reason. Now, we continually see that as a theme with different global operations and things like that, which are arguably needed, such as NATO. 
where there are actions that individuals and even countries can disagree with, with NATO. However, there is no actual resource, there is no way to stop these things from happening. You know, there's no way that a civilian can stop these things short of a miracle. And that's a sense of modern authoritarianism in a more quiet light. But we see it more overtly with Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. We see it more overtly with the election of Italy's new prime minister. We see it more overtly with a bunch of dipshits running into the United States Capitol thinking just they can overturn an election. Like, we see these people with the with some ridiculous, ridiculous illusions of grandeur attempting to seize power, and unfortunately, sometimes, sometimes it's not a work of fiction. Sometimes that shit happens in real life, and it's something that we got we got to stay aware of, something to keep mindful of and to actively speak out against. It's, it's not just in the context of video games, it's not just in the context of having fun and just shooting things up, you know? Jay, did you do this like, of course this is fun. Really, boy, of I've course games of are a great time. Phase. And of course Pagan's a charismatic, to be closer to incredibly my fun villain, right? But at the same time, oh. these leaders are responsible for genocide. They're responsible for the deaths of hundreds of thousands, millions of people. And it, I feel it's important to draw a line. Because we can't glorify these people. And while it's fun, it's fun to play video games as them, while it's fun to blow them up in video games as well, either shoot them out of the sky, you know, directly shoot them with a pistol, handgun, whatever. However, you decided to end Far Cry 4. You know, it's in real life. These are things that we need to take active stands against, and it's not easy. No one will ever it takes a lot. Of it takes so much critical thinking. It takes so much collaboration. And there isn't time for petty squabbling based off slight political differences when these things come up. So, if you take nothing else from these things other than have fun while creating content, it's also be aware of the world that you live in. Be aware of what's going on, what's happening. Be aware of examples of extreme overt uses of power. Understand that there's a line between the government helping and the government actively being a force that's antithetical to our advancement as a society. You know? Like we, yeah. we all have a role to play in these shit, things. Shit, shit, follow uh, That's my piece on the front tail. It's about time to reset the game clip. Reset it. I'm gonna let these dudes tear each other apart a little bit. Oh man, everything's laggy. It's frozen. It's frozen. It's all over. It's all of okay, 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 okay. It's still super loud. Too much is happening. I heard the garage door open downstairs. That means my dad's gonna come. And for some reason, I guess that means my internet also wanted to be like, yo. <laughs> I thought I'd be fucking hilarious to stop working for a moment. Oh, this is getting super excessive. There are so many bad guys. But we're only 8% away. We got three syringes. We're fucking setting spaghetti. I might get rid of unflinching. LJ, LJ, LJ. I run that power out all the time. Like, it was always one of my favorites, but I don't want to get rid of this poison freak. Okay. 
I may get rid of a uh, I may get rid of my knockdown resisting one. Whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, for that heart from Yuma. You saw I have three lives going into the final round. Just cause, yo, we, like I said, we fucking died twice. It's embarrassing to me. You know what I'm saying, brother? It's not the shit you want to see on camera. It's not what the good people are uh, spending their time watching. That's not good content. Trying to make good content here. Low effort. Low effort for the Let's Plays. But still good. You know what I'm saying? We don't got multiple camera angles like I do with the Let's Make a Beat series. But I mean, height. to know what's in there. Obviously. Like, I gotta keep this shit exciting. You shouldn't have. I didn't. Hit me. Bro, the frag is just straight up on the Like, it's just straight up cheesing. The waves are gonna get so much easier. That's what we like to see. We like to see greater efficacy. Yeah, let's go to the safe house. Then we'll do thicker. Then we'll do the uh, auto pistol thicker than water. We'll stop by. We'll see Yuma. King country rewriting history. Okay. I want a pistol that shoots fire. For the rewriting history one. Let's tear shit up. Also, fun fact: the guy that voices Pagan, right? Get ready for this. Joel from The Last of Us, right? If you didn't know, we will be safe in there. And you just found that out, right? Like, it makes sense why he's so fucking good. Alright, let's re up on all of our shit. And let's get a fire pistol. This hurts. I've been smiling a lot today. Will Pagan ever grow at all? I've just generally been in a good mood. Oh shit. I'm not the one to play with. I am the one, the one that... Oh man, I forgot the Denzel very That's disappointing. I need to know it's in, obviously. For me? You shouldn't have. I didn't. That's some, the amount of shots that I missed is embarrassing, but it's okay, because they were all fucking choking. Because this perk is just stupid. Okay, they just shot me through a tree. Oof. 
How unpleasant. I'm not about to lose a life like that. I just curled my feet in so hard because I was scared of dying. Alright, now we do thicker than water. We already know what this is. We just gotta go get some pet. It's important for this mission. There you are, head. I'm always for you. Now let's put you back where you belong. Jerks never gonna get old to me. I'm sorry, yo. Like that's the always gonna be fun. Just outrageous. Where is my All right, head? I think that the last one that we need to do is Lakshmana. Let's go learn about this dude's battle. And there it is. Lakshman. All these memories, all this pain. I love it. Damn, we've done this. Good. Floating rocks in a sea of darkness. Seems like a great place for a nursery. Come on, Pagan, you could do... I hope I don't lose a life for that. Come on, Pagan, you could do this. What is that? Oh, there's Lakshmana. I will make them pay for what See, they that's actually a fairly good justification for Pagan's whole thing. Resetting the uh, recording. If you've seen enough, if you want. Reset. That's actually like a very fair justification for why Pagan is the way that he is. Um. But he had already done a lot wrong prior to that point. So I mean, you know. We're getting the masks. This is the last Pagan playthrough too. We've died twice, but we've been resilient as fuck. Enjoy that. I thought that was a special chest. I guess not. <clears throat> Quite disappointing. Okay. 
king and country. Yuma had problems. What can I say? Bit of a soft spot for tearful reunions. Ah. Choose your path and follow the tunnel. If you pass my tests, if you remember who made you king, I'll give you your throne back. All right, all right. We could have built an empire, Pagan. Together! I really feel like this is the second hardest like part of the DLC. At least before the waves. Like, I feel with Joseph Seed, I try getting the Ethan one done first, but it's really not the hardest. Jump, Pagan. Just die. It'll hurt less. Like, I just don't like Ethan as a character. You know, I would, so I'm just really enjoying this shit. I just like getting it over with. But if I was going for like ease, I'd probably start with the prison. That's definitely like the hardest mission I want. I don't want any of the enemies to like scale up there. Dang. Hmm. Where the fuck do I go? I'm guessing here. We are being very mindful of our syringes today. As I was saying, we're being conscious of all of our syringes because health is wealth. Let's let's kill Yuma. It's time. You've done what I asked. Now come find me. Let's talk. I'll show you what strength looks like. No, I'll show you what strength looks like. Dirty. 
Do it again. Spawn in again. Shwari makes you soft. Bang! I see you on those braziers. Don't you dare turn I'm not turning off the braziers. Got fucking time for that. Yes, you were. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but there's... There's a book, I believe it was adapted into a movie, called He's Just Not That Into You. And unfortunately, it appears as though you found yourself in that situation, Yuma. I can only offer you this in hindsight, but I'm doing what I can. You know? God bless her soul. Yeah. Yeah. Whole fucking face is itchy. Listen to me. Regardless of how you feel, Shwani is a spy pagan. Now, be a good personification of my flaws and tell me where I can find the other two pieces of this, would you? <laughs> well, I had to try. <laughs> Alright, let's go burn some shit down. Then we destroy your religion. Let me reset my game clip. I have to do it in 10 minute increments just because I'm on Xbox. And that's the easiest way to do it all. Gonna smack a small. Okay. It's ready. I'm ready. We're all ready. I don't want to miss it. I am not known for my great sense of direction. It was so powerful, didn't they? Time to knock them down a peg. Huh. What do you know? This is actually quite cathartic. My military was quite useless, weren't they? I mean, this isn't so hard. That's because it isn't real. No one asked you. Bye bye, Golden Path. Ah, that's just I got rid of Beyond Flinching. No harm, comrade. You must be kidding me. We fucked them up. My boy Sammy Loudpax just texted me. I can answer his question in a little while, and I hope I can actually respond in the affirmative. Another piece. Because we love the homies, and we love responding in the affirmative. Big shout out, Sam. Y'all should go check out his Rocky music video because that shit slaps harder than a chancla flying at you full speed 
on a Saturday morning when you've accidentally woken up your homie's mom for playing games too loudly. Not that I would know. We are making some solid progress, like this is more slow moving than a few of the other playthroughs, but given that we died, lost almost 70 grand, and I've dealt with so much bullshit, I would argue with driving. If they think they can take my I'm really from feeling me. like a glass half full kind of guy recently. It's been it's been a nice change. Well, this obviously does something. Stopping these will get me to Lakshmana. <laughs> I would not advise hitting me. Did I not tell them? Did I not say I would not advise hitting me? Another layer. They go and they do it again. Fools. Fools, Philistines, and charlatans. to go kill Mohan. It's unfortunate news for Mohan. You're not Mohan. You're Mohan. Good detective work. Good job, everybody. I hear a story. It's called The Goddess in the Cave. And shakes all around. Of course, darling. Let's hear it. Once upon a time, there was a king named Goddess. The Valkyrie was lost. For the first time in the king's life, he was truly happy. But having lived the misery for so long, he could see the goddess was not. Why are you so sad? asked the king. The goddess replied, I never wanted to be a goddess. My childhood was taken, and the future of my daughter has been taken as well. Ooh, a bit dark for a chill Lakshmana. I'm here, my love. That's the mask pieces, boy. This ma The king furious! He promised that what happened to the goddess would never happen again. Pretty sure we're going out to the lift. Sit. Based off my calculations. Calculations. Do you know what this means? Alright, let's get moving. Mind is collapsing. I don't have too many syringes. And I'm gonna guess that Pagan's PP is hard. Because one of us has to be. Oh, 
but there's a chest coming up. Down. Apparently not. You hacking me? Let's get it! Yes. Yes, I've done it! Feel okay going into this? I'm a little bit nervous. I knew I was better than all those Daddy. lies that thing was telling me. Uh, I'm about to blow some drill, bro. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you got any Let's Play recommendations for the future. I would really love to continue doing this kind of stuff. I have a ton of fun with it. So, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one.